hello friends and uh, today's video on the immunization series will be about dpt vaccination okay diphtheria petrosis and tetanus okay coming to the introduction why this vaccine and what is the need is once it had been introduced in the schedule in introduced in the expanded immunization schedule by the indian government the morbidity and mortality due to diphtheria petrosis and tetanus has significantly reduced to show an impact for example diphtheria there used to be around 39231 cases in 1980 which reduced to just 5000 around 5000 cases in 2000 Similarly, when coming to petrosis, of two like cases which used to happen in 1970, it has reduced to around 23,779 by 2017. Like, not that all are protected. Even for whom they are vaccinated and protected, the severity of disease is very low. Severity of disease as well is very low. Okay, and coming to the tetanus, there were around. Forty-five thousand cases in nineteen eighty, and that has reduced to four thousand seven hundred cases in two thousand seventeen. Okay, so this is the importance of the vaccine. Now, coming to the vaccine as such, what is the type of uh, vaccine? Yeah, basically, it contains triple antigen because it is DPT. Okay, the of them, the toxoids being diphtheria and tetanus. Diphtheria and tetanus being the toxoids and Petrosis. There are two types. One is WP. WP is nothing but killed whole cell vaccine. Okay, killed whole cell petrosis vaccine, and this is being added with adjuvant insoluble aluminium. Insoluble aluminium salt as adjuvant. And one more is one more is a cellular petrosis vaccine. Okay, certain components of the petrosis is taken. Okay, in a cellular petrosis vaccine. So what are them? Usually there will be more than one petrosis antigen. Okay, usually more than three is considered effective. More than three such antigen component in the vaccine is considered effective. There are various manufacturers with whom will three to five to six component of such vaccines they will add, but more than three is considered effective. Okay, and the one under Indian government as well has three. Fine. So, what are the various antigen components? It can be like petrosis toxin, filamentous hemagglutinins, pertactin, or fimbrial hemagglutinin one, two, and three. Okay. Now, what is the advantage of acellular petrosis vaccine, and what was the need to introduce acellular petrosis over whole cell vaccine? Is it had significantly lesser side effects? Okay. Significantly lesser side effects. Fine. Now coming to the storage, since it contains aluminium salt, it has to be stored between two to eight degrees Celsius, and it should never be frozen. Never be frozen. If frozen, please discard the vaccine. Now various combinations are available like DTWP, DTAP, TDAP, DT or TD. So such various combinations of the following three vaccines are available. Okay. What is the dosage we administer? What is the dosage? It is 0.5 ml. Okay, and how much amount of diphtheria toxin toxoid 0.5 ml contains? Around 20 to 30 loflus unit. And coming to tetanus toxin, it is around 5 to 25 loflus unit. Okay, so coming to the site, it is intramuscular on the antero antero aspect of the thigh being preferred. Okay, so next let us look into the schedule. Let us look into the schedule. Uh, the national immunization schedule is slightly different from the IAP schedule. Under national immunization schedule, it is six, ten, and fourteen weeks. Okay, followed by first booster at sixteen to twenty-four months, second booster at five to six years, and Just the tetanus toxin. Now tetanus toxin is not given, being given anywhere. It is T D. Okay, tetanus with the diphtheria part. Okay, this is given at ten to sixteen years. Ten and sixteen years. One is at ten years, and the other one is at sixteen years. Okay, and in national immunization schedule for the primary immunization and booster, 
dt wp is preferred okay dt wp is sorry in national immunization schedule dt ap is preferred dt ap is the one that is added in national immunization schedule okay now coming to the iap schedule okay it is the primary immunization is the same 6 10 14 weeks first booster over here is around 15 to 18 months second booster is around 4 to 6 years okay and iap recommends to give the whole cell component rather than the acellular petrosis component okay not that you cannot give acellular petrosis toxoid acellular petrosis component but it recommends DT WP over DT AP. Okay, fine. Because even though there is lesser side effects as compared to DT AP, DT WP provides herd immunity as well as mucosal immunity. Okay, that is why DT WP is preferred over DT AP. Fine. And at 10 years, instead of TD, IAP recommends to give TDAP. Okay, at 10 years and at 16 years TD okay and even after a natural disease even after a natural disease it is preferred to vaccinate the child because the immunity following the disease lasts for a very short period of time okay fine now this was the usual schedule next we will see what if the child has missed the particular dosage in that case what do we do first we we'll look at the age of the child okay so if age is less than seven years then we go with the primary immunization schedule of zero one and six months okay with dtwp or dt ap followed by first booster six months to one year later fine and over here first booster if the child is more than seven years tdap is given okay tdap is given if the child is less than seven years DTWP or DTAP is given okay and you guys will get a doubt as to what is the difference between this and this correct DTP versus TDAP correct why this big D and small d small d is nothing but it contains a lower dose of the toxide the lower dose of diphtheria toxide it contains because the local side effects when DTP when this at a higher dose it is given for more than seven year child it is much higher the local side effect local reactivity to the toxin toxoid is much higher that is why the TDAP is preferred that is why the lower dose one is preferred okay now coming to second booster in less than seven years six months to one year later and this is only given okay if the first two first like it is not or in other words it is not needed if the first booster is given after four years okay if this was given after four years then this second booster is not needed okay fine now coming to 7 to 18 years 7 to 18 years now what do we do under this tdap is given initially at zero because after seven years it is not dtp it is tdap correct then td at one and six months and td six months to one year later okay first is tdap at zero td at one and six months okay then one more td six months to one year later okay and once we administer it in this way we don't have to follow the routine schedule of immunizing the child at 10 years again because you would have already vaccinated over here correct fine next is what if they are more than 18 years even if they are more than 18 years still vaccination is recommended with a single dose of tdap or td okay fine next <clears throat> what is the protection that it offers okay both the whole cell petrosis and acellular petrosis offers similar amount of protection okay so there is no difference among the protection offered between them it is just the side effects that is much lesser in the acellular component okay so they have similar efficacy okay around 46 to 90 percent based on different 
trials okay so even but even if they get the disease it is in much milder much milder disease they end up getting okay next protection is offered when the antibody component is more than 0.1 international units per ml for diphtheria more than 0 0.01 international units per ml for tetanus for whole cell and ACL pertussis we generally won't be able to measure for in the laboratory to measure the standard of the vaccine gold standard test for whole cell component is something called as murine intracerebral challenge test okay and there is nothing like that for the acellular petrosis component fine next immunity against all the three components waves off in the next 6 to 12 years okay so the immunity offered by the vaccination is short lived hence there is a recommendation for regular booster dosage required every 10 years okay next let's look into the adverse effect following immunization and all these adverse effects are mainly due to the petrosis component okay mainly due to the petrosis component almost all these side effects okay so again coming to side effects they can be both local as well as systemic component correct there can be local side effects and there can be systemic side effects local side effects mainly includes pain swelling and redness at the local site we are aware of this already there is pain swelling and redness at the local site now coming to the systemic side effect over here what happens again as we know whole cell is more than a cellular petrosis that was the whole aim to introduce a cellular petrosis and very very rarely whole cell petrosis is associated with very side effect very serious side effects very rarely it is associated with very serious side effects there have been certain case reports with very serious side effects that is why the whole anxiety behind taking the whole cell petrosis vaccine but this is not the case so with a cellular petrosis vaccine okay to name a few what are the systemic side effects fever anorexia vomiting then persistent crying then HHE, hypotonic, hyporesponsive episodes, seizures and encephalopathy. Okay. Next, the frequency of the local reaction is more whereas the systemic reaction reduces with each number of increasing doses. So as we go on giving the doses, there might be more of local reaction to the vaccination but the systemic side effect reduces. Okay. So finally coming to what are the contraindications to the vaccine first we'll see absolute contraindication okay absolute contraindication one is uh, common with all the vaccination that is anaphylaxis but over here even once if we inject and we end up getting anaphylaxis we'll not give any other component as well because we don't know whether that anaphylactic reaction was towards diphtheria component petrosis component or tetanus right so all the three shouldn't be given okay then if there was encephalopathy within seven days of giving vaccination see as encephalopathy is associated with the petrosis component as we see over here as we see over here the petrosis is not given omitted and only dt is given for further vaccination okay then certain relative contraindication are in a child with progressive or evolving neurological disorder any new progressive or not something static like cp but any other progressing or evolving neurological disorder then we, there is a relative contraindication to give dpt fine next coming to the precautions what are the where we have to be precautions before giving the vaccination is if the first vaccination was associated with inconsolable cry for more than three hours, if there was hyperpyrexia, if there was HHE within 48 hours of vaccination or there was seizure with or without fever within 72 hours. In this case, we will have to be precautious before giving the next dose because most of the times they do not recur in the next dose because as we have seen over here the systemic side effect reduces with increasing number of dosages that's why so we just have to be cautious before giving hmm? and they as well won't leave any permanent sequel any of this won't leave any permanent sequel fine now one last 
thing about the difference between whole cell and acellular petrosis okay how does it act what is the mechanism over here it is the whole cell it is a th1 response but in case of acellular petrosis it is more of th2 as compared to th1 okay next what is the duration of protection of her whole cell petrosis is longer as compared to acellular her defect is present with whole cell but not present with acellular minor adverse effects like, like for example local adverse effects is much more with whole cell as compared to acellular when it comes to serious side effects it is very rare in both okay very rare in both and mucosal immunity is offered by whole cellular whole cell but not in case of acellular petrosis vaccine okay so that's it thank you guys bye bye